Hello and welcome to CS230. This is lecture 16 and this is lesson 3. And in this lesson I'm going to give you a brief overview and introduction to CRUD using the MongoDB's Mongo shell. We've already assumed that you've download, downloaded and installed all of this and that you've got some users set up in order to be able to log in and use the shell. Now, for my um, practice, um, I set up an administrative user and here's the commands I use to do this and I also set up a web user, okay, and I gave them access um, to uh, a database, a web user database, and of course to test. And you might need to set this up yourself in order to be able to, to work with the examples. If we go to our window where I've logged in, you can see I've logged in here as my web user. I authenticate against the test database, and I have full access to test here, so I can do and create collections and do all that, all the work in this local instance here. I could, of course, also move over to my window um, here and and work with my Atlas version, um, my Atlas database, for instance, if I wanted to as well. But um, uh, let's stick with the, the local one. Okay, so you can do this. Okay, so one of the first thing we need to look at is that there's always some general database and collection. Um, I, you know, you use a database that you want to work with, you can show the databases, you can drop the databases, and try not to drop stuff you will lose unless you actually do perform some backup. So I wouldn't recommend doing that. So I'm going to use test here. So I've switched to test and I'm going to show show the collections. So I have two collections in test and I can do that. I can see um, I'm having a look that's all that's in there. There's not much happening in, in, my, uh, in my foo collection within the test database. We won't drop it. We won't do any of that stuff. Um, but let's go back now and have a look at um, the more interesting stuff. Um, so what I've done is I have a list of the various commands here for you. They're organized by group. Um, I'll give you the command. I'll give you a description of the command. And I'll give you some code that you can play with and try yourself afterwards. Okay? Um, and you can work through all of those. Okay? So, um, Here's a command that I'm interested in, creating a collection, um, showing the collections, which you see me do already, and then dropping that collection. Again, be careful with dropping collections, okay? Okay, so let's create a, co a collection. So um, I'm going to use test, and these, is a, these are actual transcripts from my exercise and previously working with this. So I'm going to create a collection called my collection. Let's have a look at that, okay? I'm going to switch back to my, my, my shell here and create that collection. And now I can, this worked, okay? So I'm going to show and I have my collection here. So that was easy to do, you know, easy to straightforward to create a collection, okay? Um, and I can uh, create a new collection as well. Let's create another one called my new collection. Okay, and uh, I can look at the collections and I can do, we can get rid of that collection as well. See that my Let's get rid of that connection. Dropped it. Let's show collections. Um, oh, a new collection, I should have dropped it. gone and they're all gone okay so it's straightforward to do this is not so not so difficult okay we can create um capped collections where we're going to only allow documents with limits in here so we might have it want to say something we only want two documents in the collection that's silly of course but the documents can be five megabits in size so we can cap and just check and make sure that it works on them and the way capping works is that um it rotates and you know it reuses the the oldest one to take up the space. So you can work through this and try these as well if you wanted. So um, I'm going to create this collection called a, that's capped here. Okay, it's called log collection. Um, spelling, it's there. Okay, and we'll. Uh, just find everything that's there. 
Okay, nothing there. So as you would expect, nothing in the collection. Let's insert something into the collection. Use the insert command. We've inserted it, so we've inserted one. We can find, check, yep, it's there. Okay, let's insert something else into the collection. So now we have two items in the collection. We said we didn't want any more than two. Okay, and we will um, we will just search again using find. Okay, so here we are, just, just the two items there. X assigned to one, value one, X assigned to value two. So those are our two documents. Now let's insert another document where we have X having the value three. Okay, so we've inserted it, we find and we still have only got two, even though we've inserted three, but you'll notice that the X having the value one was gone because we recycled. Okay, so that's how you might work with that, with cap collections. Um, be careful with those, you could lose data as well, of course, very easy with these, okay? Um, and we can just drop that collection as well if we wanted for playing. And this is how I, this is how I play, okay? So um, we've dropped that collection, so it's gone. So it's nice to be able to do that. Okay, let's have a look at something else we want to be able to look at. So in order to insert documents, we can um, we can uh, use DB, whatever the connection name is, name is to insert, whatever the document is, we can insert one, or we can, um, there's, um, it's no problem with that. We can also insert many as well, okay? So insert, insert one, insert many. I've given you examples of all of these here, and we can do all sorts of creations and find here. So let's, um, and we can create, Lots, we can do lots and lots of these things. So we can work to some of the examples. And um, I'm going to create uh, some customers here. Let's have a look at this one. See, does this work? I'll just copy and paste. Let's, um, okay. Uh, let's see, db. Okay, so our customers collection has just been created. We have one in there for Leah Collins. Let's have a look at that. DB dot. Okay, we have that, that record here, which is what we expected. So it's in there. We can find them, as you can see. We use the dot find method, and we made it look pretty by looking at the dot pretty. So here we have a bunch more we're adding. So I've uh, inserted those, some more documents. So let's have a look at uh, how many we have in here now. Okay, so we have three, doc three documents for three customers in the customer's uh, collection. And um, it's very straightforward and we can do as many. So that was, we used the insert many to insert a, a list of them. And there was just the documents separated, uh, wrapped with a square bracket, separated by commas. Okay, so it's easy to do. We, we saw already how to find something. We can use find on a collection and we can find one if we want. We can also use find with pretty and that, like, that looks nice as well. So we get this nice pretty printing um, of the documents, okay? And we can just find one, for example. Let's use the find one command to find somebody based on a search query. And we're interested in finding who has the mobile number 0827028252. And it's just this one and it's necessary so we find and it works out just well okay and um, you can also use all the logical operators and or nor and not in conjunction with find so you have to be very um careful with your logic so for example let's say you wanted to negate an and clause say, say for example you wanted you search for something that's not a and b that's equivalent to not a or not b and you can rewrite it like this so we can find information and um, find um customers that are where the first name is not Ness and the first name is not Regan. So we can actually combine an R on this and this. Okay, and then we can not equals, not equals. So there's lots of ways of combining into complex queries with MongoDB. Let's copy this. And, uh, you know, we did this here and we were able to find Leah Collins and Tony McNamara, which is, they're not Nessa Regan. So it works and we can do, we can, as I say, we can just set up all of these queries in here. So all of the query, querying that you would like to have done with um, MySQL and SQL, you can also do with MongoDB using the find method. Okay. Um, 
you can work through this example yourself because using find and and is implicit, but when you want to set up multiple conditions um, on and, you might have to explicitly do use and. And I've got some examples here that you can work and play with, okay? Um, uh, we can do all sorts of finding with complex, complex arrangements here, and you can make it look pretty as well, okay? Um, MongoDB has a NOR logical operator, and it's a logical NOR operation on an array of one or more query expressions, and that selects documents that fail all query expressions in the array. So we can rewrite queries, you know, like this. It's kind of nice to be able to do that, okay? Um, but you can work through those yourself, it's okay. So I suppose for the next thing we want to be able to do is to look at updating a document. So we want to change, for example, Tony McNamara's email address. And let's just check that Tony McNamara is in the database. So yeah, we have it here. And Tony McNamara currently has orange, an address at orangemail.ie. So we can actually do this by um, setting the new value. And we use the setting with dollar set. Okay, so let's have a look at this. Let's copy this command. Okay, so here we are, we're updating. We're updating the customers, um, searching for an email address that matches Tony McNamara at Orange Mail, and we're re and we're now we're setting that email to be the Tony McNamara at Graymail.ie. Okay, and that works. So let's have a look at our. And we see Tony McNamara has now got a new email address, and that was just using the update. Okay. Um. Uh. We can we can also add email addresses to people that don't exist in the database. We can add one using set, for example, as well. Um, and if you want to work through the other examples yourself, where I in, in, uh, I created a new user up here, um, then you can actually, if I didn't set an email address originally, I could do that using set as well. So there's lots of ways of doing this. We haven't had to go into them all in this small lesson, but you can all the details and examples are here, and you can copy and paste and work through it. Okay. Um. So let's say we wanted to, what else do we want to do? There's lots and lots of examples. Let's say we want to delete somebody, okay? So we want to delete somebody in our database. And, you know, if you work through the examples, you'll see we can use um, the remove method to do this. Okay, I will use an example where I was able to remove uh, uh, somebody with the first name Libby and remove the results there. But um, let's not do that. Let's, let's remove somebody that we know already exists in the database. So, for example, let's remove Nessa here. So we remove for the first name is Nessa. And it worked. Okay, so we remove Nessa and we'll have a quick look. And we find that Nessa's gone from our database. Okay, so it's it's very straightforward. Um, and uh, that's all of the crud activities really, you know. And But it's a good idea to work through some of the examples that I've given you here. They all work just fine. I've tested them. Um, and uh, you'll get a better feeling for how to do all the more complex commands that you would have liked to have done with SQL as well, where something is select something, where something is like using regular expressions, um, complex and or relationships, um, logical relationships as well. So there's some references for um, create collections, collections, dropping them, BSON types, like, you know, show you how JSON and BSON are related, um, all of that, logical operations, um, and information on the update command, which is complex enough. Okay, so there's a very, very brief overview of some of the commands. We didn't go through all of them, um, but I have done and worked through all the examples, and you can look at this document yourself and do exactly as I did and work through the full set in order to get a better picture on how to do um, CRUD with Mongo Shell. Thank you very much for watching.